Hi, I'm John, everybody. I'd like to uh, share my story about my childhood. Um, back in sixth grade, no, uh, third grade, I was six, six years old, seven years old. Um, I'll give you a little background information. I'm going to talk about when I got sent to a um, Orange Road Children's Home. I don't know if you know about it. It's a place where kids get have been abused, neglected, or you know, abandoned, some sort of you know negative issue that happened with the family. So, uh, mom and dad were both on drugs, cocaine, speed, weed, heroin, you name it. They had it. They sold it. Um, and you know, when you're on drugs, you hit rock bottom, and that's what happened at this time. Uh, we didn't have any electricity. We had no gas. We had no water in our in our house at the time. We were using buckets of water to to um, dump into the toilet to flush it. Um, candles and fireplaces for light and. Um, I remember eating Campbell's soup right out of the can without any water or even, even hitting me that. After that happened, after that whole situation, um, our aunt was, you know, nice enough to take us in for a month or two where we didn't know that she actually was on drugs too and she started turning crazy on us. She thought my little sister was a year younger than me, was sporting checks at two years old at second grade. She thought she was sporting checks. She thought I was stealing business cards from her, I don't know why. And she thought my brother was <coughs> stealing uh, traffic tickets from my uncle that he had, that he got. And uh, after that, our aunt brings us into the, after a month of that goes on, our aunt brings us into the room, her bedroom, sits us all on the table. And she says, she has this one drawn look on her face and she says, kids, I can't take care of you anymore. I'm going to have to send you to the Andre Children's Home. And we didn't know what this children's home meant. We didn't know what it was, but we looked at it like, if she's looking at us with a sad face, then it has to be a bad place, you know? Get your stuff together, guys. We're, we're supposed to go to school this day. Get your stuff together, guys. We're gonna have to send you over there now. So, get our stuff together. All of us are crying on the floor. We're all crying on the bed. We didn't know what to do. My, my mom's gone. My dad's already in jail. Um, now I'm losing my aunt. So the only family I had is gone now. I'm going to some strange place, I don't even know what it is. So, get in the car, we're all bawling, get to Orange with Children's Home. It's this facility in Orange. Looks all nice outside, you go inside, it's just like jail. They close the door. <laughs> Boom. That was the moment I felt like killing myself. I didn't know what to do. I had no family, I had no, nobody. The only person I had was my brother. And my brother, um, we got to room together, that was good. My sister was in a separate place. But right when we got in there, they strip us. They, you, you take a shower, you get medical, you get evaluated, like just like you're in jail. And um, <clears throat> after that, they take you to, they give you a little tour of the place. Here's your room, here's the multi-purpose room. Here's the field that you'll never be able to see. Um, here's the showers, you know, you got your showers lined up. Okay, so we get in our clothes. They send us to this room, this day room. We watch, we, there's no TV, it's just satellite, I mean, there's, there's just VCR, so we're watching the movies. I don't even like movies. So here I am, lost, lost little kid, didn't know what to do. It becomes, day, it's, it's nighttime, they send us to our room, the door closes, there it is again, stuck, thinking, what am I going to do, how am I going to get out of here? The only thing I can see is a red light in that tower, right by the Theo Lacey facility, there's a red light, and, uh, that's the only thing I could see, and that all I wanted was to be out of that place so bad, so, so bad. <clears throat> I remember not being able to sleep that night, trying through the whole night. Couldn't hear anything. It was so quiet in there. I used to sleep with the TV, didn't have a TV. My, well, I didn't have electricity at the time either, but my aunt had a TV. So I was used to that TV, and I didn't have anything. It was dead quiet, sleeping. And then um, all of a sudden, you know, the next day comes. It's a nice bright day out, same thing, didn't wake up, take a shower, you all line up, take a shower, get your clothes, you, you, have, you get clothes that you're assigned, then you go, you walk around, walk to the uh, breakfast room, you eat your breakfast, you sit down, get your time to eat breakfast, then you go to school. After that, <clears throat> I realized that I have to make the best of this, and I know it's not going to, I'm not going to be out here, you know, tomorrow or the next day. 
So, moral of the story is, we did that for two more weeks. We came back. Um, our aunt, um, our cousin got us. And um, we live with her. And now we're good. <laughs> we made it out.